Been on the Target practice tour. Just got done rocking. Uh, Bay State College is the spot. You know what I'm saying? I had a good time out here. Man, the tour has been a, it's been one big just learning experience, man. It's like every every city we just been thrown something new. You know what I mean? And it's just it's just one of the greatest learning experiences, man, from you know, um adjusting on the fly, you know what I'm saying? Um different talent buyers, promoters, artists, you know, just hearing everybody's story, you know, and um just, just getting getting away, man, and seeing the country, you know. There was this one Paramore record called I forget the name of the record. I think Misery Business or something. And um, what happened, like, this dude, my roommate, put me on it. And she was actually cool with a dude who was a, who was a tour manager for um, his band Cute Is What We Aim For, I think. I mean, I think it's Cute Is What We Aim For. So, man, we just chopped it up, man. We was just talking. And um, I was just saying how I, like, love different elements to it. And, um... We just got cool, man. We just got really, really cool, man. And we were just different. We just respected what each other did. And um, he he took me on the road, man. And he's just like, yo, come, you know. And, um, you know, he just showed me, like, you know, I just was was, was, was following him, man, you know. And it was, it was cool, man. Like, I didn't really – it was an experience that I didn't really get, you know, because I was around these great bands at the time, and I didn't really get it, you know. And um, uh, it was just – it was a great – um, it was a great experience, man, because they were like, I don't want to say like they, they haven't peaked now, but like right then and there, they were just like really at the top. You know what I mean? They were doing arenas and just like the buses and, um, you know, um, it, it really showed me what it can be, you know, and, uh, how loyal their fan bases are. So, um, that's how that happened. And, you know, I just, it was just networking. It was networking before I even knew it was networking. You know what I'm saying? It was just all organic, so. That's cool. That's crazy that you that you brought that up though. Like I don't even talk about that. That's crazy though. That was a great experience, and that's what started all like the the long song titles and all that shit, and just like you know what I mean. Just trying to be different with it. So, um, you know, it's just the Midwest. Like, you know, um, I feel like the East Coast has its sound, and um, the West Coast has its sound, and they have their styles. But in the Midwest, it's just a mixture of both. You know, and um. You know, uh, I just, I, I took um, the hip-hop aspect of, like, Lupe Fiasco and Kanye West, and then I would just try to infuse it with, like, a lot of the bands that was coming out of northern Illinois at the time. Like, uh, I think, like, the, I want to say, like, the Academy is. I think they was from, like, Barrington, Illinois. You know what I mean? And uh, the Hush Sound, they was from, like, you know, uh, Illinois, um, Upper Illinois. And um, it's just a lot of bands, you know, at that time, at least, who were just really doing, like, really cool stuff. You know I mean? And um, I just wanted to, like, you know, bring the two together because I thought it would be a great way for people to be intrigued on to listen to someone that's new. You know what I mean? Like, how can I get someone to listen to me just by looking at a piece of paper or looking online? You know what I mean, without knowing anything about me. So, like, um, Chicago is, is, is a great place for music, man, you know birthplace of the of blues, birth, birthplace of gospel music, man. So I just try to take every all the elements of the city, you know, and just blend them together and just give, like, Gerald smoothies and shit, music smoothies and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it just has to, it just has to, um, it just has to be right. The, the, the business has to be right. You know, um, I think a lot of artists speak on stuff like, um, I would never do a 360 deal and a lot of, lot of this, and it's like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to give you anything for nothing? You know what I mean? Jay-Z's Rock Nation deal was a 360 deal. You know what I mean? And um, I think the only reason why I said it at that time, you know, I said it at that time, and I wouldn't necessarily go with it today, but the reason why I said it at that time is because it's just a certain level that I eventually want to take the music that I believe, like, that machine, you know what I'm saying, could put, you know, and I think a lot of people say it, from the money aspect you know what i mean they look at it solely for the money aspect and i just look at it as getting the music out on that certain level so that's why i said you know the majors would probably be a you know a good way to go dolo man it's just not following anybody doing you dolo running dolo being solo being an individual you know like you know one of my one of my one of my close friends and a fellow um 
rapper. He he had, his name is Pizzle from Milwaukee. And he's like in the ring. He's like in the room full of sheep. I'm just trying to be the goat. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a dope line because he's just like during a society where everybody wants to be the same. You know, everybody and even now everybody's different. You know, that different is now the the norm now. You know what I'm saying? And I think, like, I fuck with Dolos because it's, like, it's a lifestyle brand that is really, you know, do what you want to do. And it, and, it, and it coincides with what I'm talking about. It's, like, find what you want to do and just go for it. But he's just like, yo, be different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Follow nobody. You know, where the sidewalk ends, that's where the journey begins. You know, like, are you going to be a motherfucker that just – keeps walking on the sidewalk or are you gonna get the shovel and start making your own path or are you gonna do what it takes and that's what that's what dolo means for me though yo it's your man gerald walker live in boston massachusetts right now rocking with any hip-hop and dolo clothing you already know the finest in hip-hop and the finest in fashion out of boston get on it before everyone else is getting on it you know what i'm saying don't be a hype beast fuck with the best it's gerald walker let's go